What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be installing some new LED tail lights on the Mercedes-Benz C300. So right now I have the stock LED tail lights and the reason I'm replacing them is because this one, this whole unit is actually out. So hopefully it's just the um the wiring, I mean the um the bulbs and not actual like wiring or anything faulty with the setup. So that whole unit is going and the right side too with new LED units because they last longer, less maintenance. And I'll show you how many, like it's like eight bulbs in there that you have to replace every time one goes out. So I'll show you that when you take them out. I'm gonna go ahead and start up and show you guys what they look like. So I'm going to show you how to just completely install uh, new LED tail lights for both side, the driver and the passenger side tail lights. And it's uh, pretty simple, just plug and play. I can show you the um, little assembly right here. It's tucked away. And it's literally just one wire you pull out, a couple of bolts, a little bit of trim piece you have to take off, and it's that simple. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox these new tail lights that we got right here. I'll show them to you guys. That's it. This one. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these boxes open. That was open. So, that's light. Alright, there goes one LED unit. Like 10 feet later on. And the other one. Here it goes right here. I'm not sure why these two pieces are a little bit different though. You see the inside. Hopefully it's just not, hopefully it's not missing a piece or anything. But we will see. All right, so right off the bat, I noticed uh, a big difference or maybe a piece that's missing that I definitely do need. You see the little, the gray panel right there. This is the left side tail light. It's the right side one. And it's missing this little gray panel. And this panel actually has the piece where the um the tail light plug actually hooks into it. Without that, the unit is pretty much useless. So I guess they just forgot that out of the package. But uh for now I'm gonna get this left side installed and I'm gonna see if the, the OM tray fits the uh right side tail light. If that works out, then uh, I have no issues with that. So I'm gonna get this left side install first. All right, so first thing we need is a set of trim remover tools. We're just gonna pop this off right here. And then apparently it's like two bolts under here somewhere that we're gonna unscrew too. And then after that, it's pretty much just with the socket wrench, just unscrewing different parts. And then the plug and play from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. What we're gonna do is pretty much just take off this little trim piece right here. I have a tool here that pretty much just pops it up for me. And it's gonna go under. Pretty much just lift up. Try not to break anything. Put this 
stuff here. There we go. Should just pop right up. We'll get to the next one up first before I start it. There we go. And it goes up and out. Go and then this should just snap back in place. And then once you finish, we'll set this to the side. All right. So next step is to pop out this little little clip-on piece right here that holds it in. Here. You see it on the camera? I'm gonna try a different tool. This might be better. For this piece, I pretty much just came from the back side and kind of just pulled it off because it was beyond the point where it can't hold in place anymore. So I'm just going to have to get this out and place that part. But for now, I'm just going to not worry about that. All right, next step is to remove this other uh, trim holder piece right here. So all you do is take a flathead, go under here, pop this little small piece in the middle off first. go just like that and this slides right off just like that now we have access to uh four eight millimeter bolts that we need to unscrew back up a little bit <clears throat> oh next thing also need to unplug the connector piece right here to squeeze all right so with this side we're at the call it quits for today because it looks like somebody had glued this uh plug into here and did not expect anybody to actually come in here and take it out so i just kind of Man handled it out and that piece just kind of ripped off right there. So we can't even plug in the left tail light. That's the one that's out. So I still can't drive this car. Well, we're at least going to do the right side today because that one came out smoothly. And I'm going to get this little piece right here replaced and we should be all good. All right. So instead of Instead of uh, taking this, uh, leaving this one how it is, I'm actually installed the LED unit and just take this part, take the, the car to the shop and have them replace this piece right here. So you just plug it in as soon as they finish up. But what we're gonna do right now is just remove the eight millimeter bolts with the socket wrench right here. So the first one is right here. It just goes right on there. And then we're gonna switch it to the left. Back up. Oh, it's skipping. All right, so this bolt right here actually looks uh, stripped, so it won't even grip onto it. So I'm pretty much just done with this side completely. But it's, I am mad beyond belief right now. So I'm to the right side. Get the other tail light in. All right, it's now day three of this night time now it's not 100 degrees outside so I'm pretty much went through a whole process dilemma of removing of removing the seven pin adapter plug that uh 
I think I showed you in the last video, it actually had burnt up the whole unit. So what I ended up doing was just going to, I went to the Mercedes-Benz dealership and bought some, a whole new set of seven pin adapters. These like these right here, seven pin adapters and some new wires. This right here, seven pin adapter wires. And we did a little splice job. So we set these to the side. Probably can't even see, I need to get this one up too. It's an old tail light, I'll explain that part in a minute. Okay, so we did a whole splice job. We removed the two burnt wires from the old 7 pin plug. As you saw before, it had literally had burnt. This whole side was burnt up to a crisp. So this is a new 7 pin plug that I got for like six bucks from, from the Mercedes Benz dealership. These wires right here, the replacement pins were like 15 bucks a piece. So be careful when you're buying those because they're pretty expensive. We literally just tape them together with some uh, electrical tape, attach them to the old wires, cut the old birds off. Uh, piece off and it stuck them right back into the adapter and everything seems fine now and that was the reason why the left side of the light didn't work in the first place but we're gonna switch them out with the uh, leds anyway so it doesn't matter now uh, we already removed the old tail light because we had a problem with this bottom where is it at this bottom nut right here that was in this hole right here it literally was like welded on because of um the heat and just other factors so we literally just broke that here so instead of like being able to get it off and use like a, a nut remover, things like that, we literally just broke that whole, at least like this right here. We broke this whole piece off from this part right here and just pulled it right out. So now this part is pretty much useless. I'm probably gonna still probably just resell it. Somebody probably wants this. They know how to fix that. But I'm not gonna worry about this for right now. And to get this side out, it's four different bolts you have to unscrew. One, two, three. Four. Let me show the locations inside the car. So the first bolt was right here that we took out. You unscrew the bolt from this hole. I screw the bolt from this top hole. If you come over here, we have all this liner. There's gonna be a bolt right here. Oh, that's the never mind. A bolt right here, and then the bolt in the top corner right there, and then the bolt right there. You unscrew all four of those. And then the headlight unit literally just slides, literally just slides right out of this pocket right here. So let's get to the installing the new tail light. All right, so I'm gonna take this one. Let's see a good place for this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put this in the back seat for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see. I don't want to start that. Oh, also I had to buy some uh, new bolts because I forgot where we put the old ones at. So we... All right, so got the bolts right here. If you guys have any questions about how to install the seven pin, uh, replace the seven pin, just leave in the comment section. I'll make a video on it later. But if you want to see it, just leave a comment. So I have all the bolts right here. They're all eight millimeter right here. And we just need four of them. So first thing we're gonna do is literally just slide the tail light unit into the into the position. Just like this. Make sure all the bolts line up. And just like that. And there you go, fits right into place. Make sure everything is solid. All right, once you fit into place, then I'm grab four of these bolts and just hand tighten them onto each one just to get them started. So you see first screw right here popping out in this corner. Just throw one on there and hand tighten it. This way first so second spot this left corner top left corner in the back there all 
All right, third point of contact we're gonna do right here, right here in this back corner. It's right on there. And last bolt goes right here at the top. Next thing you want to do is grab an 8 millimeter socket wrench, like this one right here. And we're going to tighten this one first at the top. And we're just going to go until it's on there, not until it's uh, fully tightened down. Next one, we'll go at an angle. So your next one will be this one down here to the bottom right. Make sure you do an X pattern to uh, make sure everything tightens evenly, pretty much prevent any unnecessary uh, cracking and tension in places where it's not supposed to be. All right, next spot, top right. And then this spot down here. All right, now I'll go ahead, go back around and tighten them. So, there we go, top one first. All right, and this tail light is in place. All right, so now, next thing I wanna do is get all the trim pieces back on on the left side. So, all those. These parts just tuck right back in. Right here. Tuck those back under there. This is our top little hook that goes up here. This part comes back out. Just like that. And it's gonna slide right into this hole here. And it's the bottom one. Make sure it's in there properly. Right here. Come on this side. This one goes into that hole right there. So make sure you get it lined up just like that. And then tuck everything in. There we go. And then once you get that tucked in, take your last piece, slide into that hole right there. And just give it a little push. And then this pops right in. And the other piece right here will be your liner but that kind of just got ripped out you don't really need to worry about it if you do you can just get a new piece from mercedes or online for like a dollar so i'm just gonna put that right there because it holds the um the trim liner that goes right here holds it in place just fine all right next thing grab your uh trunk trim piece make sure you just tuck behind the what's it called the um the gaskets or I forgot what they call for the trunk, but yeah, make sure it's up behind that, the waterproofing stuff. And then lay this right back on. 
line these uh, two pieces right here on both sides with these two bolts right here. They slide right into there. Both sides. Once you slide those behind those two washers, pretty much, just put down, push down from one side, bring it back like that, and then push down, and it'll pop right back into place. Then just go ahead and sit on it one time, make sure everything's back into place, put some weight on it, and you're all set. All the trim pieces are tucked back in. And the final step to so installing the head to the, the tail light is to take your seven pin adapter piece. Make sure these two top grooves are facing up and it plugs right into the back of uh, the backing plate of the tail light right here, just like this. Oh, never mind. this one is gonna be face down. The old one was face up, so it goes in just like this. Just give it a little push. Slides in. It's one side, and you're all set. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the car up, and you can see the difference between the LED light and the right side OEM. As you see, it's lit up and working perfectly. On the right side, uh, this light just made me out. I'm not entirely sure. But as you see, the new LED one has both the top and bottom part lit. All right, hit the brake lights one time. There we go. Keep it on, keep it on. Brake lights, LED on the left side, OEM on the right, very similar. Do the left single light. As you can kind of see, it's kind of hard to see in that because of the glare, but that's the LED single light. It's kind of a square, right thing, sort of thing. Hit the right side. And then this is the right side, it's just a flat line of a uh, light. And as you see, the right side is actually a yellow, while the blue LED is a red color. And then do the reverse lights. Very similar, just a tad bit brighter on the left side. Actually, yeah, yeah. New ones are just a little bit brighter, but they're pretty much in the same place. Um, the only difference between the LEDs and the pretty much the OEM stop tail light is that you're gonna get the red, the red tail light, and then just one little space for the reverse uh, lights. All this one kind of shines the whole length of the light. And then here are the hazard lights. Yep, pretty much the exact same. Just this side's red, that side's yellow, and this side's more of a kind of cool rectangle looking. Can't really see on camera, but it looks like a rectangle. This side's just a flat line, not as cool. All right, so that's it for the left LED tail light. The right side, um, the tail light that I got for it, the back, they, they didn't send me a, a backing plate for it, like the one on this side. So I wasn't able to install it uh, today, but I'm gonna do it another time. But come in. But I will have to replace the seven pin adapter on this side, like I did with the other side. Uh, the pin that plugs into the back right here, that seven pin adapter. Here's the bolts right here of the, oh, well, this is the backing plate that I'm talking about. So the seven pin adapter that I showed you before will go right here in this slot. And they did not send this piece for me for the new tail light. This is 40 years. This was the old one for the right side that pretty much had just burned up. So it's completely useless right now. But I'll make a video about installing the right side later. It's much easier than doing the left side. You don't have to remove any trim. It just comes right out. All the bolts are easy to get to on this side. 
And then I will be switching out the seven pin adapter, like I said before, because they're kind of broken too. So I'll probably spice a, spice a few wires, spice a few wires too on this side, and then do the tail light install. As for now, that's pretty much it for the tail light installation. I'll drop a video on the the right side tail light a little bit later. But if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. I'll try to answer it, and I'll pretty much uh, discuss those uh, questions you ask in the next video when I install the right side tail light. Uh, thanks for watching.